picture for sure this one. Thought you were gonna show none. Which okay. picture are you gonna draw? So we or I, whatever, am going to draw a manga, manga, whatever you, however you wanna say it, anime picture. So the materials you'll need you'll need sharpies. At least twenty one. No, I'm joking. <laughs> just a just a black sharpie. Like this one. Black sharpie. Um Show us the tip. The t oh yeah. Fine tip, please. Whoa, we can't focus on that. Hold it <laughs> a little farther away. Over the white paper. Hold it over the white paper. Fine tip. Okay. Fine okay, tip okay, sharpie. Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. You'll need these special markers. I forgot what they're called. They're called uh just Markers, <laughs> apparently, just markers. Okay, um, and yeah, and of course you'll need some sort of art book. I think those markers came from a store called Michaels. They did, and then you'll need some sort of art book, and of course you'll need a pencil, and then you trace over the pencil and erase the pencil lines. The words. Okay, so there you go. You need to have a blank, clean page. Yes. Blank and clean. And so, first, I always start with the head. So, make the lines about as even as you possibly can. And yeah, we're just going right away here, but make them as even as you possibly can. And then, what I like to do is I like to start doing a tiny curve, like we're doing the head right now. So make sure it's you have room on your page. And just make it go far down the page so you don't have to worry about it. And then you do it the same thing again, right, on the other side. Then you erase these extra lines. I know there's a lot of erasing, but it's like the best way. Unless we want to go watch some other YouTuber, but that's your decision. Okay, um, and then you curve the bottom, obviously, because you need to have a good shaped head. Nobody wants a really triangu bleh, triangular head. Sorry. Um, you might have to turn it a few times to get it even, but that's okay, because you're just trying to make it good. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but it can be as well as you like it. So, there you go. I'd probably try to make it ten times more even, but okay. Um, and then, after that, you start to make the, like, skull part. The weird skull. So, you make a weird, like, for your... Everybody has a round head, right? <laughs> Everybody needs a round head. But what about SpongeBob? He has a square pants and a square head. Um, good point. <laughs> you you got me. But number one, SpongeBob, he's a sponge. Okay, sponges are square. You know? Mm. SpongeBob guy. Okay, so then you got your little... Uh, you know, you, you know, <laughs> your head. The head. <laughs> okay, then the guidelines, of course. Now, always start with the line straight down the middle. If you want a ruler to do this, you can, but I don't really think that's necessary. And then you always make the eye line low so that you can have, like, like for example, so that you can have, like, a lot of hair. Or here, this is a better one. Like a lot of hair going down. Mm -hmm. And it's like low on the face. Which is kind of weird, but it just... It, it, that's just how life is, okay? People have weird faces sometimes. And I'm not saying you have a weird face. Who, If you're watching this right now, I'm just saying... Manga people have weird faces. Cute, but weird faces. I don't know why. They just decided to make it like that. Boom. Weird face. Boom. Weird hair. Boom. If you watch Pokemon and you see Nurse Joy's hair, it's like a giant pretzel on top of her head sometimes. I'm like, what the heck? So 
sorry, I go off topic. Okay, and so yeah, you make these um, guidelines for the eyes, which don't have to be even either, but they must be in my opinion. It has to be perfect. But it don't have to be perfect, like I just said. It's your decision. It's your person. There you go. So, you can pause the video whenever you want to to catch up on this. But I'm going to keep going. So, then you drew the eyes. So, I do these simple eyes. And they're not hard to draw. These eyes. Oh, there. Sorry. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Need to f I need room to flip the page. <laughs> and then, you make it right about so it's somewhat close to the edge of the head. But not too close to the edge of the head, because if it were really close, that wouldn't be natural. So. And what is very common is this little slant thing right there. On the top of the eye. There you go. Yep. Okay, perfect. And then... You don't want to make them too close to each other, otherwise it looks, like, unmental. <laughs> if you know what I mean. But. Yeah, so, then you. I draw a lot of things. In a lot of ways. But. Manga has always been something I really enjoy drawing because every picture has a different personality. There. And, of course, if you hear that, that's probably the phone, but... Okay. Um, and... Nose... You need the nose, of course. And I keep messing up the stupid nose. <laughs> uh, okay. Nose. Just a nose. Okay, yes. Thank you. And then the mouth. If you can erase your lines, of course. I always do mine too deeply. Great. Now, I like to make super happy people. Because happy is good. If you do a sad person, I'm going to be sad too. So, don't do... Okay, you don't... Stop. Stop. <laughs> okay. So, then... Like, one eye can be bigger than the other. It doesn't really matter because it's a manga picture. It's just normal. Okay. So, for the eye. If you want to get more detailed into the eye... Which, of course, you do because right now it just looks like a weird zombie with no pupil or anything. But, okay. So, first, you should do something like this. Oh, you know what? You should do this circle at the top first. But whatever order you want to go in is okay. Now, don't shade anything in unless if you're doing a pencil, like, shade thing. Because we're going to be, like... Doing this in Sharpie afterward. So. Like that. Then. You have to erase this. Do you need a bigger eraser? No. You just need to erase these guidelines. Because nobody has lines on their face. That would be... What about wrinkles? Horrible. Okay, we're not drawing an old person dead. I made that way too big. Okay. If I, I don't know how to draw an old person, so if that's what you're looking for, for trying to draw this, you're out of luck. I'm sorry. Um, I mean, I can draw old people, I just... I don't really like to because, I don't know. That's fine. 
Yeah, okay. So, now you got this. The eyes look unnatural because there's no hair. It looks weird because it's so low on the face. And you need a neck, of course, but that's... Now, I'm not drawing the whole body right now because we're focusing on the head today. So, um, yeah. Hair, of course. What did I forget? Hair. Oh, great. Don't do the hair. Don't. <laughs> I need, we need ears. I'm sorry. We need ears. What are you doing? Looking for a power eraser. You don't, oh. Okay. You have a power eraser. You need ears, okay? Ears. View and eyebrows. I forget these things. I'm sorry. Eyebrows. So, they're just single lines. Whatever expression you want, you can make a weird expression like that. Like they're like, what's, like they're raising an eyebrow. Whatever you want. That's like a raising eyebrow thing. You know, I've never done that before. I'm going to do that. I'm going to keep it that way. <laughs> it looks fun, but weird. There, okay. Yeah, that's... Yeah, it's cool. Okay, cool. Sweet. And then you are going to now draw the ears, which are like in between, sort of in between the eyebrow and the eye. You don't want it to be... Too unnatural. And this is just a simple ear. This isn't like the super, like, ex like really, like, experienced, like, ear. It's just a simple ear. It's not, it does, it's not like a huge deal. You can, you can actually shade this part in a little. Because if you just shade it in with, like, the, um, what you might call it, the Sharpie, that's not, like, it would just be dark and, I mean, you still can. I'm not going to force you not to, but I just don't recommend that. And that looks like a monkey ear. Wonderful. Okay. Um... So yeah, you need to put, like try to make them look as even as you possibly can. Something like that, I mean it's not exactly even, nobody's perfect, except for maybe Pablo Picasso, but that was different. Okay. There. Then you gotta, you can shade that in a little bit too. Now, you don't even have to shade it in at all if you don't want to, but still, like I said before, I recommend that. Okay, now we do the hair. <laughs> Finally, the hair. So if you want to make, so I always start with like the outside part first. Make it go up to the ear. Like that. This is like a simple style. It's not hard. It's not gonna torture you. <laughs> It's not going to take you 10 hours. Like with the masterpieces, sure, the, the, they might take you a long time, but it's worth it. It's usually worth it in the end because you work so hard on it. So, it just, okay, that one looks... Weird. Don't do that. 
don't do what I just did. Make them sort of uneven so they don't look like the same. Like that. Like this should be going behind the ear. There you go. And then you make it a tiny bit above the head. There. Now this part's the hard part. You can erase it. The head part. Definitely need a power eraser. <laughs> well, I mean, you mean... <sighs> never mind. Just, yeah, you... I mean, if you don't have a big eraser, then just be careful with your erasing. You don't want to erase too much, but there you go. Um, and now you draw the hairline, which should never take you too long to master. And, yeah, that's a hairline. Um, don't make it, like, going downwards or something, unless if you actually like it that way, but make it look natural. Don't make it go all weirdo. Yeah. And, um, always keep, like, everything you've drawn before showing. See how I didn't erase the eyebrow that's behind the hair? You just keep it that way. Um, yeah, okay. Now you draw, like, the lines, the creases in the hair. So, like, be, like, one, right there. Something like that right there, maybe. You know what? No. Don't do that. I was thinking about something else, but for a simple picture like this one, you can just do, like, creases here and there. Man, kill me, smells. But this thing, okay. Maybe make that smaller. Kind of like that. Just keep it simple. Okay. So now that you're done with the pencil drawing, it's time for Sharpie. So let's pause it, and then you can show the picture when you're done coloring, right? Nah. No, no, no. You need to show them how to. So now you trace the whole thing. Very carefully. So I'm going to stop it here until I am done tracing them. We are going Go. Hey, guys. I'm back, and now I am going to to show you how to shade the eyes after you should of course erase your pencil lines and yes power the eraser okay okay and yes the um lines that poor little eraser in that pencil you need a power eraser yeah okay of course the lines in the um ears are going to disappear the shading you did in the ears but you can just redo them, just shade them in, like, really quick. Okay, good. So, now we're going to do the eyes. You are going to color in the top of the eye. Top. Um, inside. Like so. Like that. And I always...
always have my little trademark. I always go like that. In the eye. Wait. Clear lens. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Okay. Back. <laughs> that little line right there? Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, and... Then you're going to do the same exact thing with the other eye. So... Do that. And if you need to catch up, you can pause the video. Um, yeah. Okay. Oh, wait. Almost forget. There. Now, out of, if you have 21, out of your 21 Sharpies, you are going to pick a color. So, today I am going to choose the color... Hmm. Let's do... Blue. Everybody likes blue. Blue. Darkish, lightish blue. You... With the color you have chosen... You are going to color in, you know what, yeah, just whatever, I'll deal with this color. It's kind of dark, but it's okay. You're going to color in this bottom part with that color. I chose a really dark color, but that's okay. And... You are going to kind of shade in a little bit with the color you have chosen in the black. And it actually has a bluish tint to it now. If you look really closely, but I don't think the camera can pick it up. Nope. But it actually has the tint of the color you choose, which is pretty cool. Okay, now for the mouth... I always choose either red or pink, and with blue, I never choose pink because blue and pink are like cotton candy colors going together, and that's kind of bad. So I do this red-orange. It looks like orange, but it's a red-orange. It really does look like orange, but... <laughs> but it's a, actually a red orange. And you just color in the mouth. You know, it turned up really orange. I'm going to just add, I'm just going to put red over this. Whatever. Red, orange didn't work, but whatever. <laughs> okay, so now that you've got your eyes and your mouth done, I'm going to do the hair. Now, the hair, um, if you want to do the hair like this, listen carefully. It takes a long, uh, it takes skill. It doesn't take a long time, but it takes a while. A long time. It does not take a long time. Okay, it just takes a longer than you think. But if you just want to do normal colors, like that color, just like that color, pick one of these markers over here, or just a marker, and just look over here, just color it in, okay? You know how to color. I'm pretty sure you do. If you've gotten this far, you know how to color in hair. But, right now, I'm going to do, to go back again, this type, and I'm going to do the color, definitely not, okay, I'm going to do, hmm, pink. Not blue or green, because those colors are too close. Isn't I? So I'm going to do pink. 
pink, and I have exactly three colors of pink. You need three colors, okay? Three colors. I chose these three colors of pink. So, what are you going to do first? You take the light pink. Actually, no. Take the dark pink pink. You take the darkest color you have. So put these backwards. There you go. Put it. Okay. And then you just kind of like do this. You kind of scribble a little bit on the bottom of each strand of hair. Like so. And if it gets out of the lines, that's okay. It's not really going to hurt anything. And, um, I'm doing the hair before the skin so that if you accidentally get on the skin a little bit, the, um, skin color, it can't exactly go over it, but at least it covers it up a little bit. So, it's better than nothing. Right? Okay, then you take your second light, second darkest color, lightest, you get the point, this color. You do it over top of that color, same way you did with the other color, just mix it in a little bit at the same time. Okay, then you take your third color, lightest color. You do the same exact thing you have with the others. Yep. Is it drying out? No. Feels like it looks it. like it's drying out. Are you kidding me? I just got this. Well, you've used a lot, haven't you? No. See, this is why you test markers before you use them. <sighs> Wonderful. Okay. So you're going to do the same thing I just did multiple times until the whole head is covered. So I'm going to come back when I'm done. Okay, here we go. You're okay. back. Okay, hello. I'm back and I did the hair thing. And as you can see, it was successful with my somewhat dried out marker. I made it work. And so, now you are going to take your skin colored markers. Now, here's one thing. If you wanted to use these special markers, which are inking markers, you could ink this instead of using Put it on the a paper. Sharpie. You can ink it instead of using a Sharpie. There's three sizes. Um, my third one is right here. There you go. Um, and now, we are going to do the skin. You need to take out your skin color. Now, I have a color chart, so I like to know what skin colors I have. So, what skin color I'm going to do is probably this one. Give me a number. E21. Which is this. there, E21. Yeah. Now, what you're going to do is sometimes you're going to want to use the fine tip. But for right now, you are going to want to use this, like, That's one. That's the fine tip. No. The, this one's, like, squishy, though. Look. Look. Zoom, zoom in on this. So it just kind of goes around. It's squishy. Mm, like a paintbrush. Yeah. So... 
you want to have this one for okay, like... Okay, pause it until you're done. So, and you're going to um, color the whole... So the bottom part, you can just like do that. I don't know, just fade it out, something like that. It doesn't really matter what you do with the bottom. It's your choice. You can add like a body or whatever, but... So now you might want to use the fine tip for the ears so that you don't have to worry about getting the um, it all squished around. Get to be careful. There. Yep. There. You do... The rest of the face. Now try your best not to get it mixed in with the black marker. Otherwise it looks kind of bad. Like, I don't Did they know. they bleed into each other? Yeah. Sort of like that. And, mm -hmm. your, and your tip just gets dirty. I see it. And I just did that. Dang it. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, it's It doesn't look bad. Like that bad. It happens to everyone. Even those famous manga pictures. Manga picture artist. You get my point. This is how everyone started. Probably searching up videos on YouTube. Wanting to learn how to draw. And then they made, made up their own little versions. And became famous. Of course, I don't wish to be famous. I just wish to inspire people that they should start doing something they're talented at and show the world. Or just show, teach people. And I just messed up the whole mouth there. Wonderful. Um, yeah. So, what I just did was mess up the mouth. It's not that bad, though. You can kind of cover it up. I, yeah. So it looks like a weird DJ person right now. Um, but if you don't like unnatural looking things, you can take out the eraser. Get a different skin color. <clears throat> and, I'm going to have to end this. And color it in. Like that. The end? Nope. It's running now, out of we're running out of memory on the now what you machine need machine and the battery is pooping out. And now you are done. Hope you try this. Show it to your friends. Yeah, see ya. Bye. Bye.